All right, so in the last few episodes or last few videos, I've been telling you about how to create a space that would make, you know, a healthy relationship. I teach a woman about how to be in a healthy relationship. I ta taught you how to use your strength to create a space because that's the thing, bro. Women, they don't, they're not going to choose. They don't choose you the way that we choose them. We choose, what we do is create conditions that make a girl say, okay, those are the conditions that are favorable to me. And when we choose her, she can either accept or she can deny when it comes to relationships. Women have control over the sex and things like that. Men, we create all of the conditions based on who we are and what our philosophy is. And then a woman can either um, choose to, you know, get involved in that or not. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. And nobody talks about this part, at least not, you know, not for a long time where when you create these conditions and then you the girl you and the girl get into the relationship and then you know every girl has these things where they test you and you know no one tells you how to defend yourself not anymore at least in your relationship and defend yourself meaning as a man it's important for you to to to, to defend to furiously defend your happiness in the relationship because look listen this is the thing the minute that the minute that you start following her and what what she says makes her happy because the thing about women is their happiness is so conditional it changes on a moment to moment basis and it's not real happiness it's not authentic because it's so complex it's so complicated they don't even know what makes them happy half the time so they're always making deals like oh we never go to the beach then you take it to the beach she's happy for a couple hours on the way you know then oh we you know we never go to the movies then you take her to the movies and then you, she made another deal. You make a deal with her again. Oh, we never go to the this. We never. And you keep following and doing these things. Next thing you know, bitch, we ain't going nowhere fast. No, there was no real. There's nothing done. See, as a man, we have so much energy and so much happiness to give that it trickles down. Everything trickles down uh, when you're a man and, and you're and you're in the right position. Because look, right now we're suffering from what's called queen culture, which is every girl. See, and what's funny is girls, they say they want to be treated like a queen and all these things. And they they're admitting their happiness comes from a, from from a man being in his position in the relationship anyway. But there's there's so much arrogance and ego in the air. They want they're not humble enough to even admit that, OK, men, uh, you know, a relationship is what makes uh, them happy. They want to you know, they want to be loved and things of that nature. So anyways, listen to this. I was messing with this girl, right? And everything was cool. But when you have a girl who has a big ego, she's pretty, all these type of things, she's afraid to succeed in a healthy relationship because then the rejection is no longer, the failure is, is, is no longer on her terms, it's on mine. If she decides to fuck with me the way I want to be fucked with and we're moving along, now I, I can end the relationship at any time I feel like because there's no problem unless I decide... Hey, this relationship is over with. If, if bro, girls, they usually gravitate towards bummy guys, right? That need some work because they think they want to be number one. So you got a girl and so many girls watching this can relate to where you take on a dude as a project. You try to work on them, right? But women are not meant to uplift a man. They're not capable of uplifting a man to his highest potential. See, it starts off like, okay, baby, you know, I got you. You know, the girl's taking care of the man. Like, yeah, I got you, whatever, whatever, right? But eventually she's like, why do I always got to take care of this? And why do I always got to pay for this? Well, you know, I'm not trying to raise no grown kids. I've heard that on podcasts. I've heard that in videos. I've heard that in real life from women that, you know, they want to be in a position where they're in number one. You know what I mean? They try to emulate what it means to be a king. They try to copy what men do and try to compete. But the thing is, they're not wired that way. I like to speak to women in their in their nature, their natural, you know, how they react innately. And um, me, I, I, and I, the thing about it is, I should say, is this. Think of it like in, in terms like this. This is a great analogy. The most important title that a woman can have in the world is a queen. That's true. But how does a queen become a queen? She becomes a queen for marrying a king and only a king can make himself a king no queen ever had made a guy a king it's just not in history you understand what i'm saying if you look at uh, a boss a boss lady you know what i mean a boss bitch that understands 
her place in a relationship. Look at Oprah and look at Stedman because Oprah got all these billions, right? But, you know, she's with Stedman. Stedman is still running, running shit. He's, he's, she, you know, if you ever seen back in the day when, you know, Oprah had a reality TV show or even just like you will see Oprah with Stedman and she want to get these puppies and, and shit like that. Stedman is like, no, you get one. You don't get all of these. We're not doing that. He's still doing his job like he's supposed to. If you look at a picture of Oprah and Stedman, you know what I mean? And, I rem and Patrice O'Neill brought this shit to my attention. I really went and I had looked like, no way. You know what I mean? But anyways, you look at a picture of Oprah and Stedman. It's a picture. It looks like Oprah is with Stedman. She's being the girl in the relationship. It doesn't matter about the money. We don't get I told you, we don't care about the money or anything. We don't care about that. So the girl I was fucking with, right? She's uh, in school, right? And a lot of girls that are in school feel as though the fact that they're in a in a multiple in a in a funnel of school or a career for maybe four or five, six, seven years, they feel as though that that's the same as the long term happiness that men have naturally. That comes from simple things like playing video games, chilling with the homies, having 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 philosophical discussions these are the things that men have fun doing and they make you know leave us alone we'll find our own happiness we'll make it work we'll build shit look at niggas that go to jail man they be in there putting together all type of potato batteries and lights and, and they be creating all type of crazy shit because they have when you have idle time as a man you get busy and you figure it out you make the most out of a shitty situation so um what was i saying oh yeah so anyway she's a career lady and they think that being in that funnel for years is the same as the type of happiness that men have. But the thing is, that's not true. So when they fit, you know, she she finished school and things of that nature. And she's still coming off that high. She's still arrogant. She's beautiful. She got ass, all that type of shit. So she's arrogant. No one ever told her to shut the fuck up before. No one ever, no, they, you know, they let her run her mouth because she's cute, right? So we came to that, to that point where... And, and it's all my fault. It's not ever the girl's fault because they only these things are things that women do naturally where as soon as they want to they want to get in a relationship with you because you're cool and then they want to love on you and and make you copy them and they want to bring you they want to the process of in a relationship is you fighting her innate and I say innate natural her natural want and, and desire to bring you down and make it to where you're going coochie coo and you're booping her on the nose and blowing her bubbles in her stomach. You're not being a man anymore. You're not cool anymore. So here's the thing. I led with giving her everything that I think that I thought a girl would want. See, I fucked up because I, I didn't. I, the only thing I didn't take my time with was I was telling her everything that she would need to be in a healthy relationship immediately off the rip right and i took this approach to see how the shit would play out see i have there are other women that i'm talking to where i'm playing it cool like i'm supposed to i'm doing my thing and they like me and i'm not having these problems but i see i did i like this girl she caught me slipping and um i, I told her everything she would have needed to know of how to be in a healthy relationship in the beginning on the front end see i'm usually that my approach i like being straightforward and i and, and i like laying down the terms and if you got a problem with that to where you feel like you could shit on me because you're cute or whatever, I'm about to, man, I'm about to let you have it. And I, and I, and then the love is on the back end for me where I'm about to break all that ego shit down until you can't take it anymore because I'm better than you at this shit, right? That's my approach is, is to be hard body. So I'm better than you at this, at this logical shit. You can't fuck with me. And a lot of the time girls will say things guttural, you know, it, it just a gut response because they have feelings they're not coming at you with a point of view so it's easy to drop some logic on a girl's head and and sometimes it is sometimes it's not but no matter how you slice it like how you slice it if she's if she's misbehaving then um it's up to you to let her know you're not about to do that around me right so anyway she started to self-sabotage as soon as the relationship was chilling it was healthy and it wasn't even for that long. She started to say, I don't know if this is a thing I want to do. Maybe we should take a step back or whatever, right? So she started to do her thing, right? And the thing is, the thing is she didn't do it because she genuinely wanted to do it that way. She did it because 
I'm in control of the relationship. I took I took control of the relationship. Uh, I'm like I created these terms. Is how you know I'm 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 operating. I'm taking control of the relationship on all aspects. She's used to being in control. She can't fight me for the control on a logical tip because yeah, cool you're educated, but I know more about life than you because I have to know. I had to go out and figure it out. You never had to be in a position to figure it out. So when she would say her little shit and I have a quick comeback, she couldn't. She could never get over that. She couldn't beat me. She tried the that that test already. So she went with the feelings route as a, you know um, i'm you know i'm scared I'm, I'm i'm anxious i'm you know we're moving fast and the thing is we weren't we're not doing anything differently than what a, a couple would do anyways we were chilling all right i've been smashed already you know we were doing you know we were just we were chilling and um she threw that in my face and said Are you moving us too fast i'm like no we're not but anyways soon as she started to get to that self-sabotage type stuff, I explained to her, like, hey, you're self-sabotaging right now. And the thing about it is you're making all these problems up in your head that are not a thing. Here's where the defense part comes in. She started to be an ass and tell me and started to gaslight me and say, hey, we're only, you know, we're in this predicament because you decided to move us too fast. And all of the wisdom and things that you're giving me, you're you're. You're um, you're making you're insulting my intelligence or you're making it seem like you're better than me. And I'm like, I am better than you at this shit because you never had to work on it before. You never had to. You never had to charm your way into some shit. Like, why? Why should I let you do whatever you want? Because or not even that. Why should you know you you like me, but you want to admit it because or you've admitted it before. But now you're being weird because your ego is, is being bothered by the fact that you met you met your match essentially right so you're making it my problem and me i'm like stop trying to fucking fuck everything up just chill and then she started to get out of pocket and start to say things like you know she started to try to manipulate me so that way i would relent and then follow her on her terms and she would say things like i want to be cool i want to be chill and these are things guys i know that you can relate to where you think that things are going cool right See, and then you accidentally pedestalize your girl and then she'll go back and fuck with her ex or something or one of her one of her favorite exes was an asshole. That's the type of girl I was just dealing with where her favorite ex was an asshole. She was like, I would have waited five years for him to finally like me and all this type of shit. That's how you got to come. And me, I came correct on the front end. Where I, that's why I had fucked up. I Instead of taking it like situation by situation and being being me and then you know explaining to her that me being hard body is because i know she don't know no better she don't even know why she does the goofy shit she does a lot of girls don't no girl does they just they just be saying things and no one ever said why or shut the fuck up before because she's cute so here i am stuck with a no with a girl that nobody raised right in the first place so i have to deal with all of this shit right and uh Bro, I literally, bro, I, chew, I, bro, I got on her ass the craziest anybody I for sure ever got on her ass. I, I can't even repeat some of the things that I said in that paragraph or when I, cause I, we were texting and she said some shit and I had to get on her ass cause I had to defend my happiness. I had to, cause I said, bro, if you, if I follow you around, you're going to make a hoe out of me and I can never go back to that. I've been there before. I'm never going back. And see guys, when your girls start saying little things that don't mean anything, like, I just want to be cool. I just want to chill. She's setting it. She's setting it up for her to, 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 to be it. She wants to be in a situation where there's no culpability, accountability. There's no, see, I told this bitch, no, I want you to be my girl because that puts something tangible on what we're doing so I can have, okay, I'm not blowing my time fucking with you now. You understand what I'm saying? You can cop to, the, I need something for you to have to cop to. You have to have responsibility for the time that I'm putting into you now because I'm putting the onus and and the and the and the terms are now going to be in my hands, which is what I want, and what the relation it's what the relationship needs, so I can take control. All that talking shit, that being cool, and all that that empty shit is empty. That's what bitches made. Bitches made that so they could just continue to be to frivolously put their emotions on you, and then you can't do nothing about it because they can say you're not my guy, you're not my man, blah blah blah. Right? You need to use that type of stuff against them when you play in defense on, against you know when it comes to your happiness. If she tries to throw that in your face and say, oh, you're not my man. I don't know why you're tripping like that. Say, OK, fine. She says she want to leave and all that. L let her leave, but give her something to think about. I told her why she was being asked. You have to tell her. You have to tell this girl why 
she's being an ass how all right and then you have to give her the solution and you need to leave her with something to think about whether it's a question that she needs to think about and answer you need to put it in perspective an analogy something right so i told her i said look man you trying to make it seem as though it's my fault right and it, i mean it is it is my fault that that well i'm 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 happy so i handled the situation correctly because if i was following the bitch around i would have been miserable however i had to put my relationship on the line and this is the part where niggas slip you cannot be afraid to put it on the line and say bitch if you want to leave then you can get the fuck on and be an ass to somebody else i don't care if you give that give away that ass i don't care if you know you want to keep chasing niggas that don't fuck with you then you can be a goofy bitch and keep doing that so i don't have to stress over it anymore because now now when when something happens to you like when her dog her dog died or you know any of that type of shit don't call me crying anymore i'm not picking the phone up unless you come back and you admit okay i'm tired of fighting you i'm tired of being an ass what is it that i'm doing wrong why am i moving like this you if you know these things show me why show me why then at that point in time is when the relationship can truly start up until then you're fighting this bitch when she's testing you you have to you have to stand up for your happiness and you have to play defense and this is the ugly parts of the relationships where niggas don't know what to do with themselves when a girl tests them test their manhood because it happens they don't have the philosophy they don't have um they don't have a, a point of view to put into a girl who who has questions and who really is just looking for you know some she's frivolously dumping her emotions on you and you don't have a way to explain to her that it's frivolous and that it's pointless and that really she shouldn't be coming to you with this bullshit because you're 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 a man and this is how a man likes things to be done you know you have to understand that women never had to really think about you know no one ever we we know all all of the things a woman needs and wants but they don't know any of the shit that we want or what we like because of what the world is putting into their head like oh pussy is power you don't need to think about guys blah 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 and and you know men have a resentment for women for that because of all of the things like we have to be in order to have sex or in order to get pussy or whatever we have to trade our entire life's work and existence for something that bitches keep holding on to like here i'm, I'm gonna close with this i can equate this perfectly for you with this with this analogy and this is this was something dave Chappelle actually took from patrice o'neill where he said if the equivalent to if a, if a girl having a vagina, which is something that every man wants, just because they want it naturally, right? Imagine if we if we were born with twenty G, like our curse was to carry. We gotta have twenty thousand dollars in our pocket every day and walk around, and we don't know if this bitch wants to fuck with us for our twenty thousand or for them. The difference between men and women is that we'll still give away the twenty thousand because bitch, I'm better than the twenty twenty thousand. You can have my twenty thousand because I got fifty thousand dollars worth of shit in my head bitches hold on to pussy because they don't know how to be better than it so they like man this is all i have if you take this from me i have nothing and a lot of the time that's true however you need to you need to teach your girl how to be better than just having a vagina and that's where standing on standing on business defending your happiness comes from where if you're a happy man everybody in your life is going to be happy that's just the way it is. If you're a happy man, everybody in your life is going to be happy. If you're a miserable man, first of all, you're not going to have nobody. But second of all, you're going to be causing problems. See, that's when, you know, niggas start killing people, killing themselves. You know, they start committing sexual assault and crazy shit because they're miserable. You don't want to be like them. You don't want to allow a woman to control your happiness. So defend it furiously. And then teach your woman how to be when she's done fighting you because she realizes she can't fuck with you. Then realize that, hey, this is how you be better than what you holding on to so dearly. Let it go. Stop being such a such a such a schmutz and let it go. And at that point, you could free her mind and you can start teaching her shit when she lets go of whatever the fuck, you know. Oh, this is all I've ever been told was important, blah, blah, blah. Once you teach her, like, bitch, be a hoe. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't have the ego that tells me I own a bitch anyway. So stop being so weird about it. But anyways, man, that's all I got for today. I'm outie.